Let's practice. Let's practice. Child's pose. Child's pose. <clears throat> and throughout your practice today, just keep front and foremost that this is a practice. A practice. There's no right, there's no wrong. There's no let go of judgment and just see this as a practice. Like brushing your teeth, like mowing the lawn. It's a practice. It's a thing that you do to take care of your body, your mind, your spirit. The space that you inhabit. Ujjayi breathing. And practice coming back to your breath. Practice hearing your breath. Practice engaging your body from your fingertips to your toes. Downward facing dog. And there's freedom in practice. There's space and possibility in practice. Spread your fingers wide. Root down through your first finger and thumb knuckle. And practice hugging into center line. Pull your shoulder blades together on your back. Good. Gaze at your toes. Let your head be heavy. Breathing in. Breathing out. And practice intentionality with your breath. Walk your feet to your hands, ragdoll. And practice keeping the outer edges of your feet parallel with the outer edges of your mat. Feet hips width distance apart. Clasp opposite elbows with opposite hands. And drop your head. Send your sits bones up. Yeah, let your head be heavy. Shake it around. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, extended mountain. Stretch your toes. Reach your fingers. Bring your hands to heart center and set your gaze at the tops of your fingertips. We'll begin with three ohms. extended mountain look up see the wall behind you exhale forward fold halfway lift create a long spine plant your hands on the mat and come to a high plank and practice stillness in this high plank lift your hips up in line with your shoulders pull your belly button in soften your elbows and be here for three full breaths. Gaze at the top edge of your mat, long neck. Generate some heat, yeah. Practice stillness, practice your power, practice your strength. Last breath in right here, breathe. Exhale, low plank. Untuck your toes, upward facing dog. Pull your shoulder blades together, arm bones back. Downward facing dog, gaze at your toes. Breathe in, breathe out. 
In each breath, practice coming back to being here in the space on your mat. Just doing a practice, practicing moving your body, seeing what's possible moment by moment. Breathe in. Bend your knees, breathe out, look at the top edge of your mat and jump there. Halfway lift, forward fold. Extended mountain, get tall with your breath as you breathe in, look up, exhale forward fold. Halfway lift, vinyasa, high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, press down, arm bones pull back, downward facing dog, hips high, gaze at the back edge of your mat. Yeah, we are linking breath to movement, moving our body through shapes intentionally. And when we do that, something happens. Like we get really dialed into this human experience, your human experience, the experience of being alive, of dropping what you don't need, and coming into what is you breathing. Everyone breathe in, bend your knees, look at the top edge of your mat, exhale out all your air and then jump. Halfway lift, forward fold, extended mountain, root to rise, look up, reach up. Yes, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, Flow, high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, full breath in here. Downward facing dog, look at the baggage of your mat. Spread your fingers wide. Really send the weight into your first finger and thumb knuckle instead of your pinky fingers. And that takes some thought, it takes some attention to root down through all your finger pads. Practice. Breathe in, bend your knees, look, jump. Halfway lift, forward fold. Extended mountain, root to rise, look up, reach up. Exhale, fold. Move with your breath, breathe in, halfway lift. Flow, high plank and low plank, build strength through practice. Up dog, down dog, reset. Breathe in, breathe out. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Send more weight into your heels. Breathe in. Bend your knees, jump, feet to hands, halfway lift, forward fold, extended mountain, reach up, go up, look up, exhale, fold, inhale, half lift, vinyasa, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, reset. Yeah. Practice creating heat. Practice moving your breath. Good. Breathe in. Exhale it out. Jump feet to hands. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Big toes touch. Chair pose. Thunderbolt. Bring your big toes into touch. Squeeze, bring your big toes into touch, Michelle. Yeah, practice. Sit deep into your heels. Bring intentionality into your toes. Lift and spread your 10 toes and then lightly set them back down. Good, pull your shoulder blades together. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Good, Danielle, I see that. Full breath in, good. Exhale forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Flow, high plank, low plank. 
Upward facing dog, breathe. Downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. Step your right foot forward and step into warrior one. Press your right knee towards your right pinky toe. Good. And sit deep into your front thigh. Root down through the ball of your heel. Good. Spin your pinky fingers in and sit deeper. Yes. Pull the pit of your belly in and up, strengthening your torso. Practice hugging in. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, flow. Hands to your mat and move. And with each pose you practice, you learn about where your body is in space. Left side, warrior one. You learn about the space that your body takes up. And it's all a discovery. Pull your belly button in, your bottom ribs in. Yes. Energize your fingers. Good, Chris. Sit deeper into your front thigh. Press your knee towards your pinky toe. Yeah. Good. Sit a little deeper, Jen. Stack your front knee over your front ankle. Yes. Good. From here, belly button in, bottom ribs in. Look up, reach up, breathe. Hands to the earth, flow. High plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, arm bones back. Downward facing dog, reset. Mm. Next, sun salutation B will move a little bit faster. Now that we've set up how it feels today in your body to move through the sun salutation B, move with your breath. Breathe in. Bend your knees, feet to hands, go. Halfway lift, forward fold. Chair pose, sit low, reach high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Flow, hands to the earth, high plank. Exhale out to low plank. Breathe in, pause, Michelle, stay. Breathe in, downward facing dog. Warrior one, right side, good work. Step, root, reach, breathe in. Hands to your mat and flow, exhale out, low plank. Up dog, breathe in, yes, good. Downward facing dog, warrior one, left side. Step, root, squeeze, reach. Hands to your mat and flow, high plank, low plank. Up dog, breathe in, down dog, breathe out. Ah, yeah. Full breath in, full breath out. Breathe in, feet to hands, bottom of your exhale. Yes, halfway lift, forward fold. Chair pose, squeeze in, sit low. Exhale, fold, halfway lift, flow, high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, good. Warrior one, right side. Step into your heat, step into the practice of making shapes. Hands to your mat. Flow, high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Warrior one, left side. Squeeze in, reach up, good, Jen, look up, hands to your mat and flow, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, reset, ha, yeah, full breath in, full breath out. Walk your feet halfway up your mat, stack your shoulders over your wrists, take your feet wide out to the edges of your mat, and take five frog hops. So just hop your feet up off your mat, just practice hopping, however high, maybe an inch, maybe two inches, maybe three inches, just hop, just practice hopping. When you've done five, good work, come to downward facing dog, good work, practice. It's just practice. Kids call it play, we'll call it practice, right? Yeah, lift your right leg back behind. Yeah, flex your foot. Dial your toes straight down. So, Michelle, press out. Yes, good. Good. Create length through the backside of your extended leg. 
Now bend your knees, stack your hips, and flip your dog. Both feet come down, reach through your right hand, lift your hips, lift your heart, soften your left elbow. Good. Side plank, roll over, yeah. Yeah, side plank, right hand down, left hand reaches. So you're gonna roll over, yes. Yeah, and practice lifting your top hip. Practice pulling your belly button in, flexing your extended leg, flexing your extended foot. Yeah, lift your top leg, even like three inches. Just practice. Good work, downward facing dog. Good work, everyone, good work. Lift your left leg strong and straight. Flex your foot, good. Now bend your knees, stack your hips, and flip your dog. Press down through your heels, create lift. Lift through your hips, lift through your heart. Look where your fingers are reaching. Look up and out of your body, right here. Side plank. Side plank, lift your hips. Yes, Chris, good. Lift your top leg, flex your foot, and lift your top leg higher. Jen, Cher, and everyone. Good work, downward facing dog, good practice. Good work, yes. Yeah, just practice moving your body, like what's possible. Your body is capable of so much, so much. Breathe in, breathe out. Step your right foot forward, crescent lunge. Back heel stacks high over your toes. Mm -hmm. And take a really long stance front to back. Feet wide, give yourself space, yeah. But take a long stance front to back. Bring your front thigh parallel to the earth. What's that look like? That looks like a really long stance. And that looks like really sitting deep into your front thigh. Yeah, lift through your left hamstring. Yeah, pull your belly button in, your bottom ribs in, good. Bring your hands to heart center and twist to the right. Touch, elbow to knee and then lift through your left hamstring, good. Good, really sending energy out your left heel like fireworks coming out your left heel like rah. And just be in the practice. Spread your wings, left fingers down, right fingers reach. Good. Breathe. Inhale, warrior two. Peel open, oh, so good. And then sit deep into your front thigh again. Bring it parallel to the earth, pelvis low. Right knee presses towards right pinky toe, yes. Pull into center line, good. Pull your shoulders away from your ears and feel the strength and power coming out both of your hands. Your eyes are on the prize. Your eyes are set on your front middle finger. You are up to big things in this wide warrior two. Yeah, practice. Practice ujjayi, steady breath, steady gaze. Flip your front palm, look up, reach up, breathe in. Oh, so good, yes. Extended side angle. Bring your forearm to your thigh or fingers to your earth. And then restack front knee over front ankle. Go deep, go deep. So sit deeper, crisp. Spin your uh, toes to 12 o'clock, your right toes to 12 o'clock. The other way, there you go. And then stack your knee over your ankle, come deeper into that front thigh, yes. Gaze up towards your top hand, so good. Mm. Breathe in. Vinyasa, exhale, plant your hands and flow, so good. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. <sighs> Step your left foot forward, crescent lunge. Set up your stance. We'll be here for a few breaths to explore, to practice. Long stance front to back. Feet wide, squeezing into center. Front knee over front ankle. 
front thigh parallel. So bring your pelvis lower. A little lower, Jen. Good. Danielle, you've got more. Yes. Everyone. Good. Hands to heart center. Revolve crescent lunge. And when you practice intentionality, you gain strength. You access power. You realize freedom. Yeah, do the work and you will have the power. Split your hands, open your arms. Yeah, squeeze into center as you reach out through your 10 fingers. Inhale, warrior two. So good, so good. Sit deep, front thigh parallel, like come into your strength. Yeah, mm-hmm. Practice, you come out, you come back in. You come out, you come back in. Press your left knee towards your left pinky toe. Bring your pelvis low. Good. Arms reaching in two different directions. Eyes on the prize. Gaze steady. Drishti is on point. Yeah. You come out, you come right back in. Flip your front palm, reach up, reverse, breathe. Extended side angle, extended side angle. And sit right back into that front thigh, stacking knee over ankle, really pressing your shin towards the top edge of your mat. Power, vitality, and freedom with each breath you are practicing, with each drop of sweat you are creating. You are tapping into your own essence right here, the essence of you. Breathe in, hands to the mat, vinyasa, flow, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, arm bones pull back, downward facing dog, look at your toes, breathe in, breathe out, so good, breathe in, bend your knees, look at the top edge of your mat, breathe out and jump. Halfway lift, good. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, big toes touch, sit low and reach your fingers high. Squeeze into center, good. Sit deeper, breathe in. Hands to heart center and twist to the right. Twist to the right, touch elbow to knee, knee to elbow and then really sit your hips low. Pull back on your left hip, it wants to jump out, and sit deeper. Can you sit in that little tiny, like little tiny kid chair? Little tiny kid chair. Open your arms, and then sit back into the little tiny kid chair. Little tiny chair. Breathe. Forward fold. Good work. Split your feet, hips width distance apart. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers and drop your head. Like drop it, like <laughs> drop it. Drop your head, shake it around. Press down through your heels and up through your sits bones as you drop your head. Good. Release your big toes. Bring your big toes back to touch. Chair pose, thunderbolt, sit low and reach high. Hands to heart center, and twist to the left. Pull back on your right hip. Sit your hips lower than your heart. And just be in the practice. You come out, you come right back. You come out, you come right back. You keep coming back to the practice. Split your hands, open your arms. Be in the practice of not letting the discomfort that you're creating take you out. That's the challenge. Forward fold, good work. Let it go, forward fold, good work. Stand on your hands, palms to toes, forward fold. Hands all the way underneath your feet. 
bend your knees a lot to really stand in your hands. Drop your head. Let your head, let it drop. Let the weight of the world roll off the back of your skull. Just let it slide right off. Release, crow pose or yogi squat. So crow pose or yogi squat. Crow hands are wide, shoulders are uh, stacked over wrists, knees come to the back of your triceps. From here, pull your belly button in, shift your weight forward, drishti, solid, gaze a few feet out in front of you, maybe a foot and a half. And be here, Malasana, squat or crow for five, four, three, two, one, vinyasa. High plank, low plank, good work. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Come back to your big toes. Yeah, gaze at your big toes. Reset back to your downward facing dog. Practice being present. Breathe in. Bend your knees, look at your hands, feet to hands, go. Halfway lift, forward fold. Extended mountain, root to rise. Hands to heart center, set your drishti. Find your spot on the wall. Ujjayi breath in and out your nose. Tell your mind all is well through your breath. Eagle pose. Right thigh up and over, right arm up and under. Take the wrap and squeeze in. Lift the front of your pelvis. Pull your bottom ribs in. Stack your shoulders up and over your hips. Squeeze into center. Good. And be here for five. One, two, three, four, five. Change the wrap. Keep your gaze. Change the wrap. Eyes on the prize. Right? Eyes are on the goal that you set to steady your gaze, to control the urge to look around, to control the urge to Gasp for air. Control the urge. When you do that, you're telling your mind all is well. Change sides. And it's a practice. Overcoming the body's natural response to challenging situations like holding a yoga pose. Like not looking wherever you want to look. And change sides. Good work. Good work. It's all a practice. We practice moment by moment, day by day, year by year. Squeeze in and sit deep. Release. Standing leg raise. Bring your right knee into your chest or take the yogi toe lock. Number one, set your drishti. Number two, ujjayi. Bandhas hug in from the floor to your core, pull in and then kick your foot forward, open out to the side. Extend your left arm and change your drishti from front to your left thumb. Root down, expand out. Good, come back to center, kick your foot forward, reach your fingers high. Kick your foot forward, spread your five toes, look at your toes and say toes lift, toes lift, toes lift. Airplane pose, arms back, 
Leg back, flex your foot a lot. Arms back by your sides, airplane wings, palms down. Create lift, shoulder blades pull together. Bring your hands to heart center. Half moon, left hand down to the block. Stack your hips, look back, see the tippy toes of your right leg. Lift your leg higher. Lift your back leg higher because you can see your toes. You can see your toes and your extended legs so you know that you can lift it higher. Maybe you take the bind. Maybe you want to take half moon into sugar cane, chapasana. Bend both knees. When you have the bind kick, yeah, spin your heart up towards the ceiling. Create lightness through your bottom hand. Can you take your bottom hand off the earth? Practice. Practice. Part of practice is being messy, is falling out. Go there. Come into the practice of what's possible. And you have to go through what you know, yeah, to come to what's possible. Good work, everyone. Good work. Standing leg raise, left side. New side, new opportunity, new learning, new practice. Pull your left knee in. Take the big toe with your peace fingers. Kick your foot forward and open up. Bent knees are totally fine here, totally fine here. Extend your hand, your arm, and send your gaze to your thumb. Pull in as you open up and out and just practice taking up space. Practice shifting your gaze. Come back to center. Kick your foot forward, look at your toes, lift your toes. Airplane pose. And just practice. Practice moving your body. Practice generating sweat. Practice putting forth effort. Shoulder blades pull together. Lift. Yes, good. Hands to heart center. Half moon. Right hand down. Hug in, skin to muscle to bone. Look back, see the tippy toes of your left leg. See the tippy toes of your left leg and lift your left leg higher now that you can see your toes. Spread the five toes on your right foot. Maybe you take the bind. If you tried it on the other side, try it on this side. And spin your heart towards the ceiling. Look up towards the ceiling. Yeah, kick and pull and open up. Good. Bring your feet back to the earth. Take a breath. Let it go. Dancer pose. Left arm reaches high. Right hand grabs the inside of your right foot. And kick. Kick your foot into your hand. Reach your left arm up and then out. And then take your left hand forward and down to the block. Forward and down to the block. And then send your heart up towards the ceiling. Feel your heart open up towards the ceiling. Gaze up. Good. Keep kicking. Expanding here. Good, Jen. Get yes. Good work. And then come back to standing. Good work. Dancer, opposite side. Yeah. And you're practice trusting yourself. You're practice trusting your balance. You're practicing. And come into dancer and take dancer forward to the block. And when you touch the block, your dancer becomes a sugar cane. Just practice, trust, trust, touch down, expand out, kick up and out. Good work, switch sides, try it again, practice again. Practice again, dancer, dancer to sugar cane, chapasana, maybe that sounds fancier. And come into the practice. When you touch down to the block, 
lightness, 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 and then opening, lightness and practicing, practicing lightness and opening, heart skyward, gaze skyward, yes, good work, change sides, good work, try it on, try it on, practice on, right, practice, come into the practice, be in exploration, yeah, tip forward, lightness, spinning your heart up, gaze up and out, Practice. Practice is messy. Practice is chopsticks. Right? Practice is practice. Release. Come back to standing. Tree pose. Set your drishti. Set your drishti. Steady your breath. Bring your right foot to your ankle, your calf, or your inner thigh. You begin with hands at heart center. Pulling belly button in, bottom ribs in. Equal pressure, foot, leg, leg, foot. Heel above or below your knee, good. Press into one another. Hands up, arms up, reach up, look up. Send your gaze up the wall, up to the ceiling, right up above you. Practice moving your drishti. Practice. Closing your eyes. Change sides. Tree, left foot, ankle, calf, or inner thigh. And practice, practice moving your drishti up the wall, up to the ceiling, lifting your arms up and out Lifting your heart up and out. Practice closing your eyes. Good. Good work. Join both feet on the mat. Make your way to the top of your mat. Set your block off to the side, but have it because we're coming into triangle soon. Inhale, extended mountain. Reach up, look up, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Vinyasa flow, high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, breathing in. Downward facing dog, breathing out. Uh, step your right foot forward for triangle. Right foot steps forward. Take a really wide triangle stance. Stack your shoulders. Fingertips come down to a block or to the earth. Practice bending your knees ever so slightly. Practice creating length in your spine, pressing the crown of your head forward as you reach through your top hand. Spread your top five fingers. Yes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come up to standing. Right toes face the long edge of your mat. Side facing wide angle forward. Fold. Drop. Hinge your hips. Hinge your hips. Drop your head. And fold. You can take your feet out wider. Press down through the pinky toe edges of your feet. And the wider you take your feet, the closer your head comes to the earth. Drop your head. Good. Drop your head. Press out through the pinky toe edges of your feet. Slight bend to your knees. And practice. Just practice. Practice sending your hips over your ankles. When you do that, you'll find that spot of, ooh, whoa, almost fell over. Look for that. Practice finding that. 
You can come up to standing. Bring your feet in a little bit. Right toes face forward. Left foot comes halfway up your mat. Good. Feet wide. Stance is short. And set up for pyramid pose. So hips are square to the front of the room. Yeah, reach your arms towards the ceiling. So your belly button in, your bottom ribs in, hinge, reach forward, bring your fingertips to frame your front foot. You can bring your fingertips to the block, softness in both knees, baby bend in both knees. And press down through your left heel. So good, press down through your left heel. Twisting triangle. Left hand stays, comes to the block. Squeeze your inner thighs in. Lengthen your torso. Pull back on your left hip just a little. Pull back. Yes. Good, Cher. Good. Good, Jen. Good. Spin your palm towards Florida Avenue. Yes, good. One more breath here. Hands to the earth and flow. High plank, let it go. Flow plank. Upward facing dog, arm bones back. Downward facing dog. Mm. Step your left foot forward for triangle. And practice. Practice a wide triangle. Front heel to back arch alignment with your feet. Mm -hmm. Stack your shoulders, bring your fingertips down to a block, to the earth. Practice bending both knees. Yeah. Send your left buttock in and towards your right inner thigh. Come up to standing. Both toes face the long edge of your mat. Interlace your hands at the small of your back and fold forward. Side facing wide angle forward fold with the bind. Bend your elbows. Can you press the palms of your hands together? Can you practice touching your palms and bending your elbows at the same time. It's a different kind of experience. Soften your knees. Good. Good. And come up to standing. Left toes forward, right foot halfway in, setting up pyramid pose, opposite side. Practicing pyramid pose, opposite side. Squeeze into center. Root down through your heels. Soften your knees, belly button in, bottom ribs in, hinge, reach forward. Touch down to the block, to spider fingers. Send your gaze up towards your belly button and just fold over your front thigh. Press down to your right heel. Your right heel is lifted, shorten your stance. Ground your heel down to engage that hamstring. So you're lengthening the hamstring. Michelle, pull back on your left hip. Just a little. Good. Twisting triangle. Palm faces the lobby. Reaching your top hand, spreading your five fingers, activating your right heel down, spinning your chest towards the lobby, your back body towards Florida Avenue. One more breath. Plant your hands on the mat and flow high plank, low plank. 
upward facing dog, arm bones back, downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Spread your fingers wide, root down through your first finger and thumb knuckle, come back to your hands, come back to your fingertips. Shift forward, high plank. Pull your shoulder blades together on your back. Lift your hips up in line with your shoulders. Low plank. High plank, press down, yes. Low plank, lower down. High plank, press away. Low plank, lower down. High plank, press away. Low plank, lower down. High plank, come back up. Come back into the fire. Come back into the practice. Be here. Breathe in for one. Breathe out for one. Breathe in for two. Breathe out for two. Breathe in for three. Lower down. All the way down to the mat. Bring one ear to the earth. Arms back by your sides. Locust pose, press down through your hips, lift your hands, your heart, your feet fly high. Palms face the earth, shoulder blades pull together, palms face the earth, yes. Create lift, arm bones up and back, toes reaching for the back wall, squeezing into center line, so lift more, three, four inches higher. I see you, yes, lift more. Lower all the way down, release. Good work. Locust pose, second set. Press down to lift up. Lift up, lift arm bones, squeeze feet in towards center line, maybe flex your feet, try that on. Like what, can you touch your big toes together? Can you lift more through your heels? Practice discovery, practice like what's possible. Release. Good work, good work. Floor bow, bend your knees, grab your feet, grab your ankles. Maybe you take half floor bow. Practice, practice. Kick your foot into your hand, pull back on your foot with your hand. So Chris, your left hand is, press your hand into the earth, press your left hand into the earth and kick your foot into your hand, pull back on your foot with your hand. Yeah, lift, like you could put your toes on the ceiling. Set your drishti forward and press your left foot down into the earth as well. Five, good. Four, three, two, one, release. Breathe in, good work. Breathe out, floor bow, second set, opposite side. Yeah, press down through your hand, down through your foot, and lift, kick your toes towards the ceiling. Yeah, feel that huge opening in your shoulder. Yeah, kick and pull, press down, kick and pull. Toes to the ceiling, squeezing into center line. So good, everyone. Release, sway your legs from side to side. So good, so good. Upward facing dog. And be in upward facing dog for three full breaths, softening your elbows, arm bones pull back, Jen. Yeah, arm bones pull back, chest presses forward. Thighs lift, knees lift, and elbows are soft. Yes, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. You've got this downward facing dog, let it go. Yes, yes, so good. Come down to your knees, camel pose, camel pose. Stack hips over knees and come into camel, press your hips forward, pull your belly button in, your bottom ribs in, lift. Lift your heart up, your gaze up, your chest up and back. 
Maybe reach back, grab one heel, grab both heels, lift your heart. Five, four, three, two, one. Come out of camel, sit on your heels, reset with a breath, breathe in, breathe out. Camel second set, second set. Come up and into your camel, lifting up and back, up and back. Pulling in, lifting up, lifting back, touching down to your heels. Five, four, three, two, one. Come out of camel, sit down, reset, breathe in. Breathe out. Bridge pose. Make your way all the way over onto your back and set up bridge pose. And if you know bridge, which I think you all do, come into bridge. Come into bridge. Lift your hips. Lift your hips. Press down through your heels. Maybe you interlace your fingers at the small of your back. Walk your shoulders underneath you. Press your forearms down, your fist down. Lift your hips higher. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, lift your hips higher, Jen. Breathe out. Breathe in. Lower all the way down. Inhale, exhale. We will do six bridges, six wheels, three bridges, three wheels, your choice. We will rise up together collectively six times, each for a count of five. If you would like to stay up the entire time, that is a practice. If you want to take three long wheels, three long bridges, that is a practice. You choose your practice. Rise up. Everyone, all up, all one, all y'all, lift up. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay up or come down. Breathe in, breathe out. Number two, rise up, bridge or wheel for five, four, three, two, one. One, stay up or come down. Breathe in, breathe out. Number three, rise up, bridge or wheel. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay up or come down. Breathe in, breathe out. Number four, bridge or wheel. Rise up for five, four, Three, two, one, stay up or come down. Breathe in, breathe out. Number five, rise up, bridge or wheel. Five, four, three, two, one, stay up or come down. Breathe in, breathe out. Number six, Last bridge, last wheel, rise up, make it big, make it bold, make it bright, shine it up and shine it out for five, four, three, two, one. Come back down to earth, take Supta Baddha Konasana. One hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, bottoms of your feet touch. Bottoms of your feet touch, yeah. Feel your heart. Feel your breath. Come back to your ujjayi, breathing in and out your nose. Practice. Happy baby. Grab that pinky toe edges of your feet, yeah, and then press your tailbone down to the earth. Press the back of your head down to the earth. Let your knees go wide. Yes, rock from side to side. 
practice playfulness in your happy baby. Practice smiling in your happy baby. Practice spreading your ten toes. Release happy baby. Send your legs straight up towards the ceiling. Bring your fingertips to the back of your ears. Elbows are wide and we will practice stability. Practice lifting your shoulders up towards your toes, shoulders up and off the mat. Little tiny crunches towards your flexed feet. Little tiny crunches for 10, one, flex your feet. Yes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring your right foot down to a hover. Kick your left foot up towards the ceiling. Flex your feet and pulse towards your extended leg. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch your legs. Left leg low. Right leg kick it towards the ceiling. Flex your feet. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees in, rock side to side. Feels good after stability, number one. Yeah. Bring your hands underneath your tailbone. Extend your legs up towards the ceiling. 30, 60 legs, flex your feet. Yeah, flex your feet. Practice keeping your feet flexed. Lower your legs down 30 degrees. Breathe. Lower your legs down another 30 degrees. That makes 60. Breathe. Bring your feet to a hover. Look up and see your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs up, shoulders down. You've got this. You've got this. Practice keeping your feet flexed. Lower your legs down 30, 60, feet to a hover, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, legs up, shoulders down. Practice, lower your legs 30, 60, feet to a hover, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs up, shoulders down. Hug your knees into your chest. Yeah, rock from side to side. Movement. Stability number two. Practice in the bag, right? We've got that. Abdominal twists. Today the practice is going to be keeping your knee stacked over your hip. So bring your knees to stack over your hips, shins parallel with the ceiling. Yeah, knees over your hips. Yeah, so look down, knees over hips. This will be the practice. Interlace your hands at the nape of your neck and kick your right leg out long. So like before we've twisted, yeah, flex your right foot. Like keep both feet flexed, both feet active. And that's the practice, keeping your legs like you see them right now. And then switch. Yeah, feel that. And now integrate the twist with it, the abdominal twist, and work your elbow towards your knee. But work more for the stack. Practice the stack, practice the active feet. And it's different. It's different. And just practice, right? Just practice. One, we're going to do 30. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, 28, 29, 30. Bonus round if you want an extra 10, it's right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Hug your knees into your chest. It's 
optional. It's a practice, right? It's a practice. That was like 10 seconds. <laughs> it was like 10 seconds and it's gone. There it's gone. Poof. Like it never happened, right? Rock and roll front to back, up and down your spine and come up into a high boat, a high boat with fingers reaching and turn your high boat arms into like downward facing dog arms. Like, whoa, yeah, whoa. High boat to low boat, yes. High boat, low boat, high boat, low boat. One more, high boat, lower down slow, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bonus round, rock and roll up and down your spine and practice rolling and rocking up into Tadasana. Yeah, pr just practice, like rock and roll, get some momentum going like raw and stand up. Yeah, like whoa, if you liked it, do it again. Try it on again. It's legit, it's a, it's a thing, man, it's a, just practice, practice, practice. And if you stand up, like, yes, yeah, stand up when you stand up at the end, stand up. Downward facing dog. Yeah. It's a practice. First time I had a teacher say that to me, I was like, what? Extend your right leg long. High, strong, and straight. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Open, open, open. And we are coming into half pigeon. Right knee to right wrist. Stack your front toe bones. Right knee to right wrist. Yeah. Maybe you take a block underneath your back buttock if it's really high off the ground, your right buttock. And come into half pigeon. Yeah, it took me some practice to be able to stand up at the end of rolling on my back. But that's the point of practice. Rarely are we ever fantastic at anything right out of the gate. It's all practice. You practice tying your shoes. You practice brushing your teeth. You practice handwriting, you practice driving. And yoga is the practice of linking breath to movement. And through that you find power, vitality, and freedom. change sides. Bring your right leg around in front and set up double pigeon. Stacking your shins. Stacking your shins like fire logs. Flexing your feet. Bringing your top ankle to the outside of your bottom knee. Maybe this looks like a figure four, like you can extend one leg long and just make a figure four so you could do half double pigeon. Yeah, flex both feet. Yeah, sit tall, flex both feet. Feel this in your left hip flexor. 
Yeah. Yeah, press down on that top. Yeah, feel it right there. Mm-hmm, good. Breathe. Breathe into that. And change sides. And change the stack. Mm -hmm. Flex both feet. Yeah, flex both feet. So if you don't have a stack of your shins, maybe you come into figure four legs, Jen and Michelle. Try that on. So extend your left leg long. Left leg long, right shin up and over. Yeah, flex both feet. And then sit tall until you feel it in your hip flexor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Double pigeon and come into frog pose. So bring your knees wide on your mat. Thighs out wide, knees wide. Flex your feet. Big, big, big groin opener here. Knees wide, feet flexed, shins out of your knees 90 degrees, feet out of your ankles 90 degrees. So Chris, bring your knees wider, wider. Flex your feet. More. Yeah, more. Good. Yeah, let all the stuff that just rose up, just let it, let it go. Let it, let it rise up. Let it air out, right? Just let it, ooh, let it go. And just be here in frog, practicing being in frog. Practice lifting the front of your pelvis. Whoa, right, whoa. Practice staying there with that. When you practice stillness and frog, you're telling your mind all as well. Because your mind doesn't know. Your mind just went, what in the F just happened? And you're like, that F, that's frog. Okay? That's frog. And you're telling your mind that all is well, that frog is okay. Frog is a safe space where you can practice stillness. And two more full breaths. And then come out of frog and set up seated single leg extension. Right leg long, left foot to right inner thigh. Seated single leg extension. And reach your fingers high and fold over your front thigh. Soften over your front thigh. And again, practicing stillness. Switch legs. And get the other side and practice stillness over your left thigh. And fold, soften. Seated forward fold, both legs out long. Stillness folding over both legs. Reverse tabletop, hands back by your hips. Bend your knees, press your feet into the earth. Lift your hips, lift your heart, look up and look back for five, four, three, two, one. Bring your bum down, bring your hands underneath your hips, forearms down to the earth and set up fish pose. Forearms to the earth, forearms down, yes. Lift your chest up, look up and look back and spread your 10 toes, like fan out your 10 toes like peacock feathers. Yeah, 
practice. And come up out of fish pose and set up an inversion of your choice. Waterfall pose with a brick under your tailbone. Headstand at the back of your mat. So if you roll out, you've got plenty of space to roll out of headstand. Hand stand at the wall, forearm stand at the wall, yogi's choice. Yeah, go upside down. And practice shifting your vision by being upside down. Press down through your elbows, Danielle, you've got this. You've got this. Press down, squeeze belly button in, bottom ribs in. Good, lift through your heels. Yeah, gaze right there at the edge of your mat. When you come down, pike. Good, good. Child's pose. Child's pose. Waterfall pose, slowly bring your feet down to the earth. Take in a full body stretch. And everyone come into a supine twist. One knee, both knees, eagle legs. Your practice. Lay on your back. And you can hug your right knee into your chest and your left hand takes your right knee across your body. Right arm comes out like a wing and send your gaze to your right thumb. And practice softening your eyebrows. Yeah, practice softening your forehead. Switch the other side, supine twist other way. Gentle, gentle twist. As we move into deep rest, the deep rest practice. Come back to center. Take Supta Baddha Konasana one last time. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Let your knees be wide. One hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. And practice gratitude for this body that you inhabit for this brief moment in time. Your body is powerful. It is strong. It is perfect just the way that it is, right here, right now. Make your way to Shavasana. Legs out long, feet spread wide. Arms out wide. And practice stillness. Practice letting go. Practice just being here. Inhale, exhale, roll to your right hand side, take a fetal position.
generate gratitude for your body. And press yourself up to an easy seat. Top of your mat, sitting tall, hands at heart center. And we'll close today's practice with three ohms. Oh. center, touch in, and together we bow. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here, for practicing your practice, for leaving it be a simple practice, and just moving and breathing, and for generating gratitude for your body, and what it can do, and what it does do. Thank you.